I'm entering what appears to be an excavation site. You are correct. It's the only remaining route to the biomass containment area. We should be able to find our sample there. Acknowledged. Is this containment area where the outbreak started? Most likely. I'll continue parsing logs to see if I can determine what happened. I I'm sure that's not necessary. Do it. I need to know. Of course, Doctor. I hate this shadow. <sighs> I'm detecting a tick up ahead. Would my cloak emitter be effective? I believe so. Oh. And the device's range should allow you to cloak the tick before it detects you. Oh, hell yeah. Cloaking successful. All this advanced tech, and the biomass still broke containment. Yes. This is why. Eliminating the biomass is our only option. Were these excavators being used to expand the containment area? I can't be certain, but given the advancements made in insulation cloaking technology, I imagine they would have been trying to ramp up testing or possibly even production. Undoubtedly, that would have required taking in more samples than the facility was currently equipped to contain. Could that be what caused the accident? Possibly. If the research team was indeed rushing to complete work on the cloaking tech, then it is possible certain containment systems were overtaxed. I should have been here. But then you'd be dead too. And so would we, probably. I'm approaching the large opening. There is a conveyance system installed overhead. That is how newly arriving containment units were transferred into main storage. Hmm. Local telemetry indicates a significant biomass presence throughout the area. Containment certainly failed here. Acknowledged. I will proceed with caution. But to where? Oh my god, they're like... In one place. Waiting to jump. So I have to be careful on the distance, that's all. web, but it's not having the same effect as before. One of? How many sensors does this web have? At least four. Then this web must have been cultivating here for some time. It's possible this is where the outbreak originated. Unfortunately, Jack, your cloak emitter cannot sustain enough insulation fields to blind all of those sensors. There must be something else we can do. Agreed. I'll find a way to retract the web. There is an electrical transformer here. Its power field appears to be keeping all nearby biomass active. Any chance there's a bypass, good doctor? If you can't cloak the sensors, <laughs> cloak the power source. Oh, nicely done, Jack. That was unexpected. I'll need just a moment to further analyze the reconstructed targeting software. Ah, uh, I see it now. The cloak emitter should be able to target power sources as well. As long as they're sufficiently compact. Copy that. Proceeding through the web now. Is this the cargo bay? Yes, and our containment unit is indeed intact. I'm still prepping the intake system. Should be ready by the time the container gets here, though. I'm assuming we have what we need. Readings show a full complement of ticks within. So, yes, Captain, we have what we need. I was faster than y'all in every aspect. I am hesitant to consider that need fulfilled until we successfully move the container out of the facility. Fair enough. We'll send a cargo drone for pickup once you're ready. Acknowledged. I'll get the door. Collecting these ticks could not have been easy. The X3 synthetics did lose many shares in the process, but they performed their function.
Does this crane meet the size requirements for the cloak emitter? Unlikely. However, I suspect it is more useful without insulation anyway. I don't think they will jump on me now. What is the thing? Ugh. I can do that. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that does. Oh. Fair enough. Jack, the cargo drone is ready. Please locate a control console to open the door. Exterior bay door opened. Copy that. We'll send over a cargo drone to retrieve the container. Shouldn't take too long. Jack, we'll just need you to manually release the container once the drone has secured it. Acknowledged. I'll head to the cargo bay. I think through here, right? Oh, damn, dude. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is this? I'm not gonna play with that. Careful, Jack. There's another form of the biomass nearby. You may have seen them before. Elongated structures with an affinity for spore dispersion. Indeed, cysts. Their rapid regrowth, even after bursting, makes them particularly dangerous. This specimen appears somewhat different than the others I've previously encountered. It has... tentacles. <laughs> yes, I believe that particular adaptation manifested somewhat recently. The biomass has been evolving continuously since your time. Regardless, you'll want to keep your distance, if possible. I'm not gonna say how it looks like. This thing is so handy. This is the administration area. Once past the next hallway, Jack, you'll be back in the cargo bay. But we need a battery probably, right? These controls are offline. Can this door be bypassed? I'm afraid not. However, as a precaution, this area runs on the localized power grid. If you can find a way to restore that grid, the door should become operable. Just like biomass. Where is the battery? Oh. I surprise even myself sometimes. This is gonna activate, right? When I'm gonna be nearby. This web must be sensing the battery's power field. Indeed. Any substantial power field will awaken all forms of biomass from dormancy. Hmm, alright. Oh. Okay. Oh, it depleted energy. What the hell? Asshole. Okay, I think I know. I will go first to the side and then to draw it. So. 
somewhere here. Yeah, I know. Thank you, Gina. Wait, how I could draw it? <laughs> no! <laughs> Actually, I will take it. It is quite effective. That is indisputable at this point. And it has brought us that much closer to a cure. For that alone, we should be grateful. Such enthusiasm from him, as always. I've nearly made it back to the cargo bay. Good to hear, Jack. The drone should be there shortly. Get the hell out of here. I remember there were ticks. Jack, the cargo drone will be unable to retrieve the container until it's released from the loading pallet. There should be a release mechanism near the container. Correct. Container released. Confirmed. Container primed for departure. It will need to be hooked up once it gets here, Jack. You have to give it the final touch. Hell yeah. I believe I would, yes. I doubt the procedure will take long. Okay then. See you in a few. Container departing in T minus 10 seconds. Jack, if you're planning on accompanying the container, now would be a good time to take hold. Cargo drone is departing in 3, 2, 1. Igniting thrusters. Oh, we Gucci. We got both things. Jack, I hope you don't mind. I switched us to another comms channel for a moment. I have a somewhat personal question to ask you. Huh? Do you mind? Wait, but I... <laughs> Go ahead, you know. Captain Rhodes, she considers you a friend, yes? Yes, that is correct. How do you know? <laughs> because she has said so. Ah, that certainly simplifies things. In your case... How do you mean? I'm trying to discern if Dr. Harlan considers me a friend. Biometrics indicate he is still experiencing some distress, but I'm unsure if it would be appropriate for me to console him. What is your assessment? Hmm... Um, I don't know. Based on my observations, I believe Dr. Harlan considers you a friend. He will appreciate your efforts, even if he does not outwardly display it. Thank you, Jack. I agree with your assessment. I will do what I can to help the doctor feel better. Wait, did we just become friends? <laughs> I suppose we did. Splendid. I'll return comms to the public channel now. So nice. Cargo now approaching the dock. Beginning descent. Hey there, Jack. Good to see you're still in one piece. Same deal as before. Hook up controls near the cargo clamps. I'll be faster. Catch me, live. Wait, where is she? Not in the same spot. Okay. Yeah, thank your time. <laughs> Biomass container in place. 
place and ready to be secured. Go ahead, Jack. Oh, on the other side. <laughs> Container secured in place. Copy that. System check, Juno. How did we do? Systems nominal. Both the fuel cell and biomass container are secure and fully engaged with the ship's intake systems. Well, Jack, looks like things are wrapped up here. No need for you to rush back, though. I'm not exactly eager to send you hurtling through time again. Of course. Also, Dr. Harlan could always use more data for his research if you'd like to continue exploring the station. Copy that, you know. So this is this open world part, okay. I've heard some rumors there is like a super jetpack laying around. I have no idea in what asteroid though, so I think I'll pass for it for now and let's just focus on the campaign honestly. It's just so much fun that I don't really want to stop. Yeah!